All right, so today we're talking about media query ranges. So this is a fairly new thing that's been added across all the browsers. It's just a different way that we can write our media queries. So I've got a sample page here. And basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of these three sections that are stacked horizontally um, based on media query. So I've got three ranges set up. When I'm at the small one, this section is going to show. As I adjust it, it's going to grow to the medium size, and then eventually we'll get to the larger size. So that's all it does. Just an example of something that you could do with a media query. Very basic HTML. So we have our three sections inside of main. These are the things that are resizing. And I have my CSS set up as per normal, what you would have up until recently. So defining max width. So I've got my media query for the first one. When I am at 600 pixels and under, this is the CSS that's going to apply. When I have a min width of 600 and a max width of 900, so basically I'm in this range between 600 and 900, I'm going to be showing the medium section at a much larger width. And then if I'm above 900 pixels, so min width 900. So this syntax, it works. Um, everybody eventually learns how to use it, but it's not as easy as if you were in JavaScript, say, writing, I want to compare this number to see if it's between this and this. You could use the greater than, less than signs, and equal signs. So that is what they've added. That is what media query ranges gives us. So I'm going to just comment out these three lines. So the start of our media query. So I'll leave those in there. If you're looking for the finished code, there's a link down in the description to the code gist with it. And we're going to write the new version with the media query ranges. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm on screen. And in my parentheses here, I just say width is less than 600 pixels. So everything up to, but not including 600 pixels. This is what's going to apply. Much easier to write this. Then for the one where you've got two sizes, you've got a min and a max. Again, we're looking at something that's much easier to write. So screen and the width is greater than 600 pixels, or let's say greater than equal to 600 pixels. And the width, not max width or min width, just width, if the width is less than 900 pixels, then this is what we're going to do. So you can see we're using width instead of max and min. We're using the same number, but using the equal signs, using the greater than, less than, much easier to read, much easier to think about logically for most people. So screen and my width is greater than or equal to 900 pixels. So I save that come back to the page, and it's going to work the exact same. So here we are, we're still above 900. I get below 900, the medium one grows. I've got a transition on there to animate this. And then there it is, there's the small one. So all of this is working the exact same way that it did before, except now we're using the easier syntax, the media query range syntax. Okay, and that's it. Hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks for watching.